to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be talking all about breast augmentation but with fat transfer. Now I made a video on this talking about my interest six months ago and I never updated you guys on it. I even brought you guys into my first consultation with my doctor but that was months ago and I never updated you guys on it so here I am today talking to you guys about it. So I think it's obvious at this point that I didn't get it done but not only in the title of this video but also there was a little bit of foreshadowing in my last video and if you guys haven't seen it I'll link that video down below. I want to make this video short and to the point for you guys not only to feed your curiosity on the procedure but also expand your knowledge on the procedure in hopes to help you make the right decision for yourself. So the whole reason why I'm not getting this procedure is because I have no fat. I'm not a fat person. I'm five foot one and a half and I weigh about 110, 112 pounds. So I want to get up and show you guys my frame to give you guys an idea of how big I am. <laughs> This is the size of my actual boobs. These are mine. Let's bring my talking chair back. Okay. So rather than talking to you guys why I decided not to get it, I've decided to turn this video into the many things or the many things you don't know about this procedure, or should I say common misconceptions about this procedure? Yeah. There's a lot of things that people don't know about this procedure and I feel like I've kind of accumulated enough knowledge to really talk about it and help you guys out. So just so we're on the same page, I'm going to just talk about exactly what breast augmentation with fat transfer is. It's basically a BBL for your boobs. So you're basically taking fat from your own body and transferring it to some other part of your body. In this case, it's your breasts. I'm just going to make it up as I go. So the first kind of misconception and topic I'm going to talk about is fat. So the number one reason why I can't get this procedure or it's not really worth it is because I don't have enough fat. I, I mentioned or the doctor mentioned in my last video how much fat I need to kind of get some kind of value. Um, I don't know how much that was, but you guys can refer to that video, of course. But you need a lot of fat, so this probably pertains to people that are heavier. And I even asked the doctor if, what if he, you know, sucks out all the fat from my whole body and then just kind of accumulates it and puts it in my boobs, not just in one area of my body, like my belly, my unwanted area, like a little bit from everywhere. And he still said that wasn't enough. And that's really... That really sucks to think about, honestly. He even said to, if he does this, this procedure, I'm gonna be like, what, that's it? That's all there is from my whole body and injecting all that fat into my breasts, it's, that's it, it's not enough. I'm probably gonna get to, I'm A right now, I'm probably gonna get to like a B and that's it. The second common misconception is where is this fat coming from? So the fat comes from your body, you can't use somebody else's body. So many people joke with me and I joke with people around me like, oh my gosh, can I have some of your fat to put in my boobs? Um, or a lot of my friends or coworkers are just like, Cassie, can I just give you my fat? I'm always called the skinny girl at work. I'm not, but I'm just small to everybody else, I guess. Honestly, I would take that fat in a heartbeat, <laughs> but really it has to be your own fat. I'm not really I'm not a doctor, so I don't really know the technical reason why, but I like to think it's because if it's somebody else's fat, your body will reject it. Third misconception is gaining weight. So it is advised to be at a stable weight when you want to do this procedure because gaining weight, just to accumulate all that fat and put it in your body, 
you have to stay at that weight because if you want to lose that extra fat off of you after the procedure because when you gain weight you gain it everywhere like when i gain weight my weight concentrates on my face my my whole body okay so there's no it's impossible to like spot reduce there's that's doesn't exist so when you gain weight you're gonna gain it everywhere think about it like if you gain weight in your face the doctor can't suck fat out of your face to put it in your boobs it's just that would be ridiculous if you have fat in your breasts after the procedure and you want to lose all that extra weight that you gained you're gonna lose the weight that your doctor added the fat that your doctor added into your breasts so that just doesn't work that idea so the fourth misconception about this procedure that it's almost painless and that is far from the truth it is extremely painful a lot of people think that it's not because they think that you know it's sucking fat from one place and injecting it in the other but if you are brave enough to watch this kind of procedure i know i can't i can't sit through any plastic surgery video it makes me cringe i can't sit through it without getting a nightmare but if you can and if you do you'll see that they really jab inside you to suck the fat out rather taking like you know these rods that you know poking holes so it's really not gonna give you that big of scars like scars are really not that big of a deal because they're not using a scalpel or anything it's very small incision but they're really really sucking fat out of you <laughs> and it's really painful you wake up with a bunch of bruises all over your body it's really hard to sit down from what i've seen from other videos and other people's experiences so it's it's definitely not fun so the fifth common misconception i have is does all the fat stay and it really doesn't everybody thinks that it does but it doesn't not all the fat that is injected survives and i don't really understand that i need to do some research but i know for a fact that not all of it survives and the sad part is like right after you wake up you know you'll be really excited we have like these fuller breasts and it's so big and huge because of the swelling but after a couple days it will get smaller and smaller and smaller and you're really only left with probably 20 or 30 percent of that which is really sad so i think we're gonna go with five misconceptions common misconceptions because that's all the possible common misconceptions i can think of and i can come up with i hope this helps you guys and helps you decide whether you are the perfect candidate for this procedure. I know I'm not and I'm totally comfortable with that. I'm totally happy rocking my own breasts. I already prepared myself before coming into my first consultation that if I can't get this procedure done, I am totally happy rocking my own breasts. I much rather have my natural breasts than getting something and regretting it and paying all that money and spending all that time in pain. I much rather play it safe than do something I will regret later because with plastic surgery, just like a tattoo, it is permanent. The results are permanent and it's really hard to change it back, you know? So I want to help you guys out there to make the right decisions for yourselves. I stand firm with my natural breasts. I want to show you guys here. I'm a size A, um, I think this is a 34A, and this is actually the only bra that will fit me. I need to find more of these kinds of bras um, because not all cup sizes are the same, so I need to find the size. Like, find so many A's, but they're never the right cup size as this, but I really like how my breasts look right now, even though they're small. But, you know, I can do this and it looks fuller. You know, I'll take pictures and pose a certain way and it'll look fuller. But trust me, you guys, I know the struggle. Uh, breast augmentation with fat transfer, transfer isn't for me. I hope down the line, these brilliant, smart-minded people out there will come up with something else. I mean, I'm already stunned by the fact that it is possible to 
use other organs from people and transplant it and like my uncle has a liver transplant like he has someone else's liver in his body he was literally almost like on his deathbed and he got a liver transplant like that was a miracle so i see hope in the future so hopefully after this video from this point on somebody down the line will create something even better than this but as for right now i'm going to rock my own breasts and i hope you guys make again make the right decision for yourselves i hope this helps clear your mind about this whole procedure and yeah i hope you guys have a great rest of your day as always, comment down below anything if you have any questions for me. Give this video a huge like if you liked it and subscribe, of course, if you like more of my content. DM me if you have any questions or you want to connect with me. I'll leave my Instagram down below as always. And yeah, take care. Bye.